you end up having, after the whole incident with the general manager, you guys had a team meeting, you made an apology. You know, uh, John Gruen said that you're you're playing, but then a day later, you asked for a release because they voided the guaranteed money in your contract. Yeah, they were, I feel like they were trying to, it's like, yo, if me and you were signed to agreement, that's what we got. Yeah. I just feel like at this point, so much stuff that went on in the media, it's like they were trying to get me to work on the contingency that was really not workable. It's like, hey, man, we got you $30 million guaranteed, but it's like, hey, it ain't going to be guaranteed no more if you come later. You... Mm. So I'm like, hey, man, Mark Davis is cool. Mm. If we're going to work with these ramifications, man, you can just keep the 30 and just let me go. Okay. So and that's what he did. They let you go? Yes. And then you yeah. signed to the New England Patriots. Yes. A lot of people felt like yeah. you kind of orchestrated this. Did you? Nah. Nah. Because I remember there was memes, you know, where it was like the, the Patriots coach was like, call him a cracker and we'll meet you on the private jet <laughs> as soon as you walk <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> remember what I'm talking about? I saw that. That was real entertaining, but it, it, don't, was, it, it don't work it was, like that. It was it comedy. Don't, it don't work like that. Yeah, it was just, it was jokes, but... Okay. Yeah, it was a blessing, man. I ended up landing to the Patriots, man. They called my agent. I mean, the coach of, what's his name? Uh, Bill Belichick, one of mm -hmm. the great coaches, man. He do a good job with just oh, yeah. tracking players throughout the free agency. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got released, those guys called right away. Like, yo, AB, we got this amount. Like, nah, man, give me, call right back. We got 10 mil, 5 mil, 10 mil salary, 5 mil bonus. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the best match made ever. Well, you got 15 mil and a 9 mil bonus. Yes, one of them. I just know it was 15. Yeah. Um, Sweet 15, too. Were you talking uh, to Tom Brady during this time yeah. at all? So as soon as I get there, we locking in. Yeah, Ooh. right away. Yeah. He kicked the Steelers ass that night, too. <laughs> <laughs> First time he called me after the game for kicking our ass, I was like, damn, it's kind of a little awkward. But yeah, that's when I knew he was serious. And did you guys form any sort of relationship at that point? Yeah, that's when we really built a relationship. Yeah. That's when I got to go to the practice. They get to see what I'm capable of. Do I know the plays? Could I, am I in shape? Could I compete with these guys? And I think I, that's when they really saw that I was the real deal. Well, you joined this superstar team, which are, you know, Super Bowl bound, essentially, every year. You play one game... Yes. And then all the problems start. Uh, what are no, your former? I, it wasn't even no problem. I played one game. We played against Miami. I mm -hmm. let the team score some touchdowns. Right. I come back in the locker room. These guys, you know, usually you know the energy when you win, when someone's excited for you. These guys looking at me like, you know what I'm saying, like something was up. But I kind of yeah. figured at this point, everything I done been through, you know, you got to think that I just got the streets of Liberty City. My intuition of what's going on is like a thousand times... IQ than a normal person. So when I come off the field with the Patriots, yo, we just blew out the Dolphins at the, they never even win at the Dolphins. We done beat them like maybe 40, 50. It was like an embarrassment. They ain't got the same energy for me. So I already figured like, damn, I done left the Raiders. I left the Steelers from a 75 million deal. I just left 30 mil with the Raiders. Now I'm 15 million with the best team. Mm -hmm. So it just showed me right there the NFL is not supporting the guy who's Hmm. creating his own journey and doing what he want. So that showed me after the after this first game of me dominating with the best team supposedly in the country that they don't want to see me do that. So right after that, the next week is more drama in the newspaper. Oh, AB, how AB, AB just, this was last week, leading your team, winning. Now it's more drama in the news. Now it's like, you know what? I go to practice on Friday. Guess what my agent called me before practice? Drew Rosenhouse say, uh, uh, Mark, I mean, he said, uh, what's, the, what's the owner guy named from, uh, he said, uh, AB, they said they don't want to give you uh, your bonus money. Mm. So I'm like, shit, what you want me to do? You want me to go home? Or shit, if they ain't got the money, I'll go home. He's like, nah, man, just finish out the practice. We're going to see what they want to do. So right there in my heart right there has already told me, my agent just called me out the blue, said they said they don't have the money while I'm at work. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, well, they do that. So at this point, I go to practice. I think this is my last day practice with the Patriots. I practice with a hood in my helmet. I feel like this probably was me and Tom, best day I practice, I promise. I think I caught like every other pass with like one hand, 
I talked to Bill Belichick. I'm like, yo, y'all don't want me? What's going on? He's like, man, I'm trying to do everything. And then right after practice, he had an interview. They kept asking him. Every reporter, 10 reporters like, yo, A.B. So I already knew it was staged for me to just like get released because they don't want to see me be successful being that I created my own journey through these guys' game. Right, but around that time, your former trainer, Brittany Taylor, she filed a lawsuit. Yeah, but at this time, they already know about that. She already had filed a grievance in last March. So now it's carrying on. She's extorting me. She's hitting up teams. Oh, you got signed AB. He got this going on. And at this point, ain't nobody taking my back, defending me, because, you know, I'm this successful player. So they just let this girl who just went from training me on camera in 2017, everywhere I went, to saying that I did something with her now. Right, and she never filed a criminal complaint. Never filed it was a just criminal. civil, and you said it was a money grab. Of course it was a money which grab. Is, which is a civil lawsuit <laughs> is. It's, a money it's like grab. I'm in a player who just left the, the biggest guy on Google who get all these national news for playing football, and I'm leaving all these teams creating so much drama, so have at it. They'll put his girl in the mix to uh, throw in with the drama. You know what I'm saying? And just make it look more of like perception, you know? 